welcome back welcome back welcome back hi guys welcome back to another fine fun episode of the nelly's view cooking series my name is nelly and i make videos from portacot nigeria so in this video i'm going to be showing you still on i am series edition i'm going to be showing you how to make yaman bitta if it is something you like to learn how to make please keep on watching so for this recipe, of course, we're making yam marita. You need some yam, you need some onion, chopped onion, tomatoes, you need some scotch bonnet. I have vegetables for garnish and I have my seasoning. All my seasonings are here. I've got here four cracked eggs, some flour, vegetable oil, and all of that. So without much ado, let's jump right into this cooking. So guys, we'll start in my pot here, we'll start adding our yams so this is how i like to cut the yam but you can cut it whichever size you like and you need to start with boiling water so your marita first of all you boil it then we are also going to be frying it okay so i place in my yams i love that this yam is white i love the color of yam this is my best Season for yams. So we're placing the yam and then to that I'm going to add salt and then to cook and allow that to cook. So for your marita of course you need a sauce to go with it. So I'm going to be making my vegetable sauce okay. Just basically the ingredients you already seen. So over here in my cooker I'm going to turn on the cooker my pot I'm going to go ahead and add vegetable oil just that much so guys while our yams are still cooking I'll go ahead and start frying the sauce so I'm adding the onion and then I'll saute that Saute the onion until it is translucent, okay? So in goes our fresh tomatoes, our scotch bonnet, I love my food to be hot and spicy. And then we stir on that. We cover and allow this to cook, okay? Until the water content has evaporated. I'll see you guys. So guys, our yam for yamarita you need to cook the yam just parboil the yam for like three to five minutes okay you don't want the yam to cook all the way through you just want to parboil it because you're still going to fry it so before we continue with our sauce i'm going to start taking out the yams so i'm going to take out the yams and then start placing them on this tray here so while i'm making the sauce the yam will be cooling down okay so that is what I am doing right now. So guys, we'll set this aside and continue to find our sauce, okay? Catch ya! So our tomato is ready. I'll stay on that. It smells incredible already. I'm going to go ahead and add our spices. So in here is seasoning cube, ginger and garlic powder, curry powder and thyme and of course a pinch of salt we need to stir on that and you guys know i'm going to be adding my sardine this is sardine in sunflower oil okay so i'm going to stir on that and, and then i'll add some vegetables curry leaves carrots cabbage green bell pepper and some spring onion I'm going to add that too. Now, it's supposed to be done. What is balls? It smells incredible. It smells incredible. Yeah, our sauce is done, guys. Woo! So, we're going to continue frying our Yamarita, the yam. See you guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add our vegetable oil. So once our oil is heating up, I'm going to start breading our yams, okay? So this is my, my breading station. Over here, I've got flour. 
So I added salt into the flour and added a pinch of curry powder and thyme just to season the flour, okay? You can also add black pepper if you wish. So over here, I'm going to mix my four eggs. So you want to allow the yam to cool, cool a little bit to touch. As you can see now, I can touch the yam. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So you, what you do is first into the, your egg and then into the flour mixture and then back into the egg and then we're going to set that aside to mix this here to start placing them while the oil is heating up okay our oil is not hot it's not hot enough so we continue breading so as you can see my yam still has texture you don't want to cook the yam through okay because you're basically going to fry it and frying is another method of cooking so we're going to continue all this until we have exhausted all our bread our yams right <laughs> now our oil is already heated up so i'm going to start frying as i continue breading okay we'll start frying place our yams we want to begin on medium heat it's a deep fry guys i'm cutting your yams the same size or shape to avail you to avail your yam to cook evenly, okay? And you do not want to overcrowd your pan whenever you're frying anything. I keep saying, whenever you're frying anything, do not overcrowd your pan, okay? So we'll continue frying while I continue breading. I'll see you guys later. So you want to take them out immediately, they are golden brown, okay? Take them out and then place the paper towel to collect all the excess oil and then we'll continue frying the second bag until everything is ready i'll see you guys later guys okay guys we are done making our yamarita with our delicious peppered tomato sauce okay so this is what it looks like see how beautiful i have plated it here and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a beautiful taste. Okay. First of all, the aroma of this sauce is amazing. Like it is beautiful. You need to try it out. Make sure you get all the vegetables. Of course. This is the ones to run away. Come back here, girl. Yeah. So. So every Yamarita needs a dipping sauce so you can you can have this with um, um pepper sauce you can have it with any sauce ketchup depending on what you what your preference is okay so i prefer this sauce you're going to love it this particular sauce is so delicious so let's go ahead and taste it mm. This is the bomb.com.ng. You are going to love this recipe, okay? As I'm listening to the recipe, make sure you're also trying it out at home, okay? So, yeah, with that, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do well to hit on that subscribe button and please smash that like button okay if you ever try out this recipe i would love to see it please you can send me your pictures on instagram i'm there at nelly's view 25 okay guys so much until i come your way next time with something delicious of course with another yam series please do remember that better is not good enough the best is always yet to come keep dishing up delicious meals i'll see you guys next time ciao